<laughs> Say the secret words. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> I think those are silly secret words. <laughs> Mummy, before you come in our house, you must take off your boots. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> There's room for Daddy, too. Say the secret words, Daddy. Can I have different secret words, please? No. <laughs> oh, all right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You can come in now, Daddy. Take your boots off. Uh, uh, I don't think I can fit through the door. <laughs> That's because your tummy's too big. <laughs> I know. Daddy Pig can climb in through the top. Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are all in the treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, I love our treehouse. I don't want to ever come out. That's nice, Pepper. But are you sure you don't want to visit me in my house? No, thank you, Granny. In that case, Grandpa Pig and I will just have to eat my homemade cookies all by ourselves. Cookies! <laughs> Granny Pig! Here are my homemade cookies. But if you want to come in, you have to say the secret words. That's easy. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still think that those are very silly secret words. <laughs> I want to be a doctor. But who's going to be the sick person? George! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Peppa listens to George's chest. Now, George, take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> hmm, I think your heart's a bit loose. How about a plaster on it? <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh, dear. You're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh, no. What's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy. It's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> um, excuse me, Doctor. Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I can hear him rumbling. I think you're hungry, Daddy. <laughs> then I think I need lots of cookies to make me better. <laughs> <laughs> and me. And me. And me. The tent is a bit little. It was big enough for me when I was a boy, but it does look a bit small now. That's because you've grown a bit since you were a boy, Daddy Pig. And your tummy has grown the most of all. <laughs> oh, talking of tummies, we should cook supper. Yes, yes. <laughs> First, we have to collect sticks to make a fire. Yippee! Pepper and George are helping Daddy Pig collect sticks for the campfire. George, I'll pick up the sticks and you can carry them. <laughs> Collecting sticks is fun. <laughs> Good. That's enough sticks. That's a splendid campfire. 
Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh we don't need matches. Daddy, how can you light it without matches? I'm going to make fire the old way by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. Hooray! Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> now we can heat up the tomato soup. Ah, listen to the sounds of nature. What is that sound? That is the sound of crickets chirping. What is that? That's an owl. Look, there it is. Wow! wow. And what's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. It's Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy rumbling is one of the best sounds of nature. It means it's time to eat. I love tomato soup. So do I. Oh, there's another one of Daddy Pig's sounds of nature. How much for one go? One pound. Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. <laughs> no skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! <sniffs> Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness I don't have to exercise. I'm naturally fit. You don't look very fit, Daddy. Your tummy is a bit big. I'm very fit. I'll show you. What shall I do first? Touch your toes like this. Easy. Daddy, stop pretending that you can't touch your toes. Uh, I'm not pretending, Pepper. Daddy Pig really cannot touch his toes. Oh, dear, Daddy. That's not very good. Mm. Maybe I should do a bit of exercise. Yes, Daddy. And I will start tomorrow. Daddy Pig, you have to start exercising now. Oh. Don't worry, Daddy. I will help you. Oh, all right. Peppa, you're in charge of getting me fit. What should I do first? First, you must do some press-ups. Easy. One. Oh. Two. There. Very good, Daddy. Now I want you to do 100. 100? Yes. Come on, children. Help me make lunch. I'll help as well. No, Daddy. You've got 100 press-ups to do. Oh. One. <laughs> two. Three. Four, Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are in the five, kitchen making lunch. Six. Daddy Pig is still seven, doing his press-ups. Daddy is doing very nine. well. 
Ten. Yes. Eleven. I do hope he's not overdoing Twelve. it. I'll go and see. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Daddy Pig, you're cheating. You should be doing press-ups. Oh, uh, there was something interesting on the TV. Naughty Daddy. Maybe Daddy will have more success with my old exercise bike. Aha, this looks like fun. I'll be able to cycle and watch TV at the same time. Daddy Pig must leave the room and we'll make a movie to show him. This way! Daddy Pig has to wait in the kitchen while Mummy Pig, Pepper and George make a secret movie. <laughs> no peeking, Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> we all have to do something. George, do you want to go first? <laughs> Are you ready? Can I come in and see the movie? Finished. You can come in now. George has made a movie and so has Pepper. Let's see George's movie first. <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> George is pretending to be a dinosaur. That's a very scary dinosaur. <laughs> oh dear, George is frightened. Don't be frightened, George. That's not a real dinosaur on TV. It's you. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see Pepper's movie. Ho, ho, ho. Who is that meant to be? I am Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. I see. My tummy is very big because I eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy is not big. But it is true that I like cookies. And the more you eat, the bigger your tummy gets. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's next? This is my sweet little brother, George. <coughs> this is Mummy Pig. <coughs> this is me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the real Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Best spaghetti ever. You can tell you two are brothers. Alike in every way. What do you mean? <laughs> we are completely different. <laughs> Pepper, George and I are going to do a puppet show. Fantastic! Call us when you're ready. <laughs> See you later. A puppet show? That sounds fun. Have I got time for some more spaghetti? Could I have some more too? <laughs> <laughs> The puppet show is about to begin. Hello, my name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. Ah, it's a dinosaur! A scary dinosaur! Eek! Oh, I say, that's very good. Bravo! I am Uncle Pig. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks just like you. I think they've made my tummy a bit big. Oh, ho! Oh, I did enjoy my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pig, are you going to fall asleep and snore like you always do? What do you mean? Daddy says you always fall asleep and snore loudly, like this. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> ho, ho, your daddy's right. I do snore like this. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you shouldn't have said those things about Uncle Pig. I don't think Daddy Pig or Uncle Pig can hear you. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. You can tell they are brothers. Today, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened? Huh? Has the puppet show started yet? <laughs> <laughs> Did King Daddy have a big tummy? Of course not. He was very handsome. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there was also a dragon. Dinosaur! A dinosaur? 
Oh, yes, it wasn't a dragon. It was a dinosaur. Living outside was a huge, fierce dinosaur. Oh, dear. Maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> but the most sleepy of all was the sleepy princess. <sighs> Pepper, are you sleepy? No, Daddy. I am not sleepy at all. <sighs> but somebody is. George, wake up. You missed the end of the story. <sniffs> well, Pepper might not be sleepy. But the sleepy princess certainly was. Looking at herself all day in the mirror had completely worn her out. <sighs> Let's carry you to bed. <sniffs> Good night. <sniffs> the sleepy princess was so sleepy, she had fallen fast asleep. <sniffs> Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy! You're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. But you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies, ready? Daddy, go! Run, Daddy! Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Pepper, take... stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running! running. Keep on running. Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Peppa. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day, the tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. <coughs> no, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come, Come on, boys. Come on, pull. Come, Come on, on, the girls. Pull. I am pulling. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win! Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. To play basketball, you need to train hard and keep fit. Are you fit, Daddy Coach? Yes, I'm super fit. But, Daddy Coach, you've got a big tummy. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> First, I'll teach you how to get the ball from here to here. I can do that. No, Danny. You can't use your feet. That's football. Danny Dog likes football. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands like this. Who wants a go? Me, me, me! Susie Sheep is bouncing the basketball very carefully. Well done, Susie. 
Now everyone try. Everyone is learning how to bounce the ball. <laughs> now I'll teach you tackling. What's tackling? Tackling is trying to get the ball from another player. Like this. Try and get the ball from me, George. <laughs> George is very good at tackling. Now throw the ball through the hoop. <laughs> you need just a bit more training there, George. <laughs> Let's have a little practice game. Split into two teams. Boys against girls. <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not fair. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. <whistles> Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes. Everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous. It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. <laughs> like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on, we'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look. Something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Daddy should run around a bit. His tummy is quite big. My tummy is not big. But later I will get some exercise, even if no one else does. <laughs> Let's eat. Good idea, Mummy Pig. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> ah, I feel quite sleepy. I thought you wanted to run around a bit, Daddy Pig. Later. Look, there's a little duck pond. <laughs> Mummy, can we feed the ducks? Yes, you can feed them the rest of the bread. <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> I think they want some more. That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. <coughs> Sorry, Mrs Duck. We've no more bread. The ducks want more food. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> <laughs> what? You lot again? <coughs> Peppa told you. There's no more bread. Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade strawberry cake. Ooh, 
A wasp. I hate wasps. Shoo! What a fuss, Mummy Pig. It's only a little wasp. <gasps> Go away, wasp! Just stay still, Mummy Pig, then it will fly away. <sniffs> there, you see. All you had to do was stay still. Hey, get away! The climbing frame is quite high. George does not like being up high. <coughs> Sorry, George. Let's play on the slide. Yes, the slide. <laughs> Peppa loves the slide. Everyone loves the slide. Mummy, Daddy, look at me. Ready, steady, go! Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George wants to play on the slide. Are you sure, George? It is a bit high. <sniffs> All right, I'll help you up the steps. <laughs> oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'll slide down with you. Daddy, you're too big to go down the slide. Don't be silly, Pepper. I'm not too big. <sniffs> Stand back. Ready? Steady, go! <gasps> Daddy Pig is stuck. <laughs> it's not funny. It looks very funny, Daddy. Mm. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to push you down. <laughs> Daddy's tummy is just like a bouncy castle. <laughs> George loves bouncing on Daddy's tummy. George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Ooh, a present. Is it for me or George? <laughs> no, Pepper. It's not for you or George. Oh, is it a toy? No, it's a glass vase. That's a bit of a boring present. Oh, ho, ho. It's a present for grown-ups. We've bought this for Granny and Grandpa Pig. It's their wedding anniversary. Can me and George buy them a present too? That's very sweet of you, Peppa. But presents can cost a lot of money. We've got money in our piggy bank. Pepper and George have one penny and two buttons to spend. OK, let's go shopping. This is Mr Fox's shop. Hello there. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. They're both very old and need a present. My shop has everything. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. A big teddy. I love it. This can be the present. Peppa, the present is not for you. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes. Oh, look. Bunny teeth. They're wind-up joke teeth. Very popular. <laughs> <laughs> can they be the present for Granny and Grandpa? I think Granny and Grandpa have all the teeth they need, Peppa. Do your Granny and Grandpa like gardening and digging? Yes. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Buy one, get one free. They've already got spades and buckets and forks and everything. Oh, dear. I know. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more. I have everything a sailor could ever wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Uh, everything except pirate's treasure. Oh. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here! Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Who? Oh. Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic! <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic! Oh, oh, you're right there. 
Uh, what about me, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry! <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh. Where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Daddy Pig! Oh, we forgot you. But I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the ducks. But look, Mrs Duck has saved you a worm. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Daddy, why are you here? I'm working with Mr Bull. Ooh. It looks like Mr Bull is doing all the work. Mr. Bull just builds the playground. I do the hard bit, planning it all. Ah. I've worked it all out with science. That sounds very interesting, Daddy Pig. It is. Would you like to teach the children some simple science? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start by doing an experiment. <laughs> what is an experiment? It's a way to find something out that we don't know. Like, how many children does it take to lift Madame Gazelle? One. A hundred. Ten hundred. <laughs> You're all just guessing. What's the answer? I don't know, but we can use an experiment to find out. Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me! Me! Oh, I can't lift her. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> Me! <gasps> She's very heavy. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madame Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! <laughs> Make a tower of blocks. <laughs> Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. Oh. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clog. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, uh, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Pepper, please? Pepper, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. 
How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my mummy and daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Pepper? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Pepper. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. You have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. Uh. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. Oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! Oh. If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. It's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Peppa, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Peppa. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. I'm just going for one last walk. What? Going for one last swim, Mr Pig? Uh, yes. One last swim before I go home. I want to stay on holiday forever. Holidays are nice, but they don't last forever, Peppa. Think of all your friends waiting for you back home. Yes, I miss my friends and I miss Goldie the fish. Can I telephone Goldie? OK, Peppa. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Hello? Hello, Granny. How's Goldie? <coughs> um, she's eating well. I sent Goldie a postcard. Does she like it? The postcard hasn't arrived yet, Pepper, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Oh, we're coming home today. See you later. See you later. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Granny Pig. Is Peppa back from holiday? Not yet, Susie, but she's coming back today. Oh. Susie is missing Peppa. This suitcase is heavy. Are you sure we need all this stuff, Mummy Pig? These are important souvenirs from our holiday. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go home. Bye-bye. Ciao. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Peppa has forgotten Teddy. 
What a lovely holiday. Yes, I have never felt so relaxed. Ah, hello, officer. Whatever I was doing, I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take better care of him. Teddy! I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up. See my amazing wobbly mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes, it's magic. Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe. <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy, where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Aren't the mirrors amazing, Daddy Pig? Wow! I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror, but there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly, Daddy. It's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh! I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr. Paul and his friends. Bigger! Wayne! It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots? To be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa. 
Grandpa. Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. Whoa! The puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record. Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig. <laughs> you say this. Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. <sniffs> I can be quiet. It's not easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> 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 mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready. OK, now. <laughs> Get on your marks. Ready. Get set. Three. <laughs> Hello. I'm home. Oh, I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa. Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. <sniffs> I am an expert at talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. Oh, <laughs> you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter, Peppa chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter, Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, 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 Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. Chatter. <laughs> the wonderful world of concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Pepper and her family have come to the library. <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Pepper, you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please! Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy. 
Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Berries, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. <laughs> ah, the old cuckoo clock. Why is it called a cuckoo clock? There's a little wooden bird inside called a cuckoo. I've never seen the cuckoo. That's because we stopped winding it a long time ago. The cuckoo got a bit annoying. Oh, can we wind it up again, please? <laughs> All right. Daddy Pig is winding up the cuckoo clock. There. Daddy Pig sets the clock to the right time. It is nearly nine o'clock. Daddy, can we see the cuckoo now? <laughs> You'll see the cuckoo soon. What does she look like, Daddy? Now, let me think. She moves her head like this. <laughs> and she flaps her wings like this. <laughs> and she says, Ahem, Cuckoo! <laughs> cuckoo! <laughs> what a cuckoo! noisy little cuckoo you are, George. Cuckoo! <laughs> Look, it's going to do something. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Silly George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went cuckoo and you missed it. <laughs> Never mind, George. You can see cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. Come on, George, let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play. Mr Dinosaur wants you to play too. <laughs> Me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We're having a cycle ride. <laughs> Hello, ducks. <laughs> ah, I'd forgotten how much I love cycling. <sighs> oh, I'd forgotten how much I hate cycling up hills. The ground is getting quite steep. <sighs> I don't like cycling up hills. But look at the beautiful view. My goodness. This is hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Pepper's friends are here. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Peppa, do you want to race too? <laughs> OK, as long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. <laughs> Pedro has set off too soon. Stop, Pedro! The race hasn't started yet. Sorry, Mr Pig. I was just letting you know that the horn sounded like this. Whee! Stop! 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 <laughs> Sorry, Pedro. That time it was my fault. The next time I honk the horn, you can go. Did you say go? I think so. Go! Go! Go, go on, Pepper. But, Daddy, you didn't honk the horn. <laughs> Danny Dog is in the lead. Wait for me! Whee! I win! Don't break the wall, Daddy. 
<laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. <laughs> Easy as pie. Oh, it's not meant to do that. Daddy Pig has made a big crack in the wall. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the wall. It's just a tiny crack. The picture will hide it. There. I can still see the crack, Daddy. Yes. I'll just take the nail out and fill in the crack. Don't make a mess, Daddy. Oh, don't be silly, Pepper. Oh, it's coming out. Whoa! Oh, Daddy. Now you really have broken the wall. Mm. Do you think Mummy will notice? Uh, yes, I think she might. <laughs> Quick, George. <laughs> what are they doing? Daddy, we can see you. <laughs> Daddy Pig has to mend the wall before Mummy Pig comes home. Brick, please. <laughs> First, Daddy Pig fills the hole with bricks. <laughs> there. <laughs> Next, Daddy Pig puts plaster over the bricks. <laughs> Easy as pie. Then Daddy Pig paints the wall. <laughs> Good as new. The wall is mended. Hooray! <laughs> But look at all the mess they have made. Goodness me. We'd better clean up before Mummy comes back. First, Daddy Pig quickly washes Pepper and George. Then Pepper vacuums the floor. And Daddy Pig tidies up the tools. <laughs> Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. <laughs> 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 Steady on! <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> Whee! Daddy, I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. First we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sandcastle. Hey, presto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time! Don't leave any stuff behind. <laughs> Let's check that we haven't forgotten anything. Towels, beach bag, sunshade and a spotty ball. That's everything. I'm sure we've forgotten something. Hmm. <laughs> of course, we forgot the hat. <laughs> Daddy! We forgot Daddy! <laughs> What's the matter? We're in a secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? 
Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? That's it. You're in. What happens now? Look out. It's Daddy Pig. You talk to my daddy, but don't say anything about our secret club. Hello? Ah, there you are, Mummy Sheep. What's new? Uh, um, uh, uh, secret club. Oh, no! Ooh, I always wanted to be in a secret club. Can I join, please? You can't join, Daddy, because you are grown up. Uh, my mummy is grown up. Well, you have to know the magic word. Which is? Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. You're in. What do I do now? Look out. It's Mummy Pig. Follow Mummy in secret. Daddy Pig. Ah, hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing in that bush? Um, uh, secret club. Oh. I've always wanted to be in a secret club. We can't have everyone in the secret club. It wouldn't be a secret. Oh. I suppose it doesn't have to be a secret secret club. <laughs> it can be the Everybody Secret Club. And everybody can be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. Or the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drum. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. 